Welcome back, Pure Structure Traders, for another market analysis for the London session and potentially into the U.S. session. Today is October 4th, 2021 here in Hawaii and will be October 5th, 2021 in London. Today we'll be going over S&P 500 gold and also oil. Give you guys some of the levels we'll be looking at. So again, if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. But with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So for S&P 500, we did have a nice downward day. Um, did get all the way down to 42.69.50, and then that was our support there. So we got a couple of levels that we're looking out for here. Want to see how we react right off these uh, 42.95.25 uh, 42 to so about 4300s as our level of resistance. See if we can pull right back down from this area. Maybe touching the mid level, you can see a middle level here, 42.82.50. Uh, below that, next level, 42.69.50 as areas of support. But right now, you can see trying to grind and push a little bit higher. Uh, but again, we are failing here a little bit at the 42.95.25s uh, right now. So we'll see if that holds up as resistance. If not, look for the market to try to retest. 4300 then above that next level 4315 is my next area of prior uh support turned into resistance so we'll see what happens as it comes into it uh let's move over into a smaller chart here so pulling up s p on the smaller chart you can see a little bit of a struggle of rotations here we do want to see if we fail to get through and then a pull down that's my first anticipation so this is going to be a nice opportunity for a short right back down at bare minimum right into this area right around these uh 80 86 87s that's going to be our short opportunity so again that is coming up for us do want to see if we can get that to pull down uh, again didn't hold above those 95 so this is going to be a better opportunity for a short to try to pull down uh, as it's coming into the uh opportunity here for the short if not again we could push up into those 4300s and then above that 4315 for those who want to try to take that as an opportunity if not look for the support to come in 4282.50 as a mid-level then below that 4269.50 as my next level of support down there so we'll see what happens there moving over into gold let's take a look at what's going on here with gold so gold coming down we did come into a level of support 1758.8 this is where we want to see if we get that support to hold if not next level down below 1755.9 and 1750.8 so these are our our areas that we are looking for the market to find that support and then bounce from um, if we do bounce look for the market to try to pull back maybe right around these uh 1765s or a little bit lower into 1764 if we fail to get through some of these areas here this could try to pull down and make another new push lower uh, and then try to head into our 55s or even 1750.8 as those areas uh, for support. For those, again, who want to get that support, that's going to be the area we're looking out for. Let's take a look at a smaller chart here on gold. So again, gold, do you see? As we're pulling into that level, we're probably going to allow it to come back a little bit again if we get that nice bounce, maybe to get a nice double bottom here, angle it here, and we can get a nice move to pop back up, 1761.1, and then try to push up higher into these 50, uh, 64 to 65s as the next level. If not, look for this thing to collapse lower, 1755.9. If it doesn't bounce from here to get that upside, then again, down below 1750.8 could be your opportunities for the bounce but we'll see what happens for those who want to continue this short opportunity you could look for 61.1 as the first area of interest if not if we don't fail here look for the market to break through and then come back up over here for a nice opportunity to try to come right back down so again those are two areas of interest for a continue short you get below these 58.8s this could actually come back retest and then continue to fall into those 55s and 50s so we'll look out for that to happen on gold let's take a look at crude oil here real quickly so moving over into crude oil you can see finding a little bit a, of a um support sitting somewhere right around this area of 77.49 i did however want to see the market try to pull back into these 77.23s but we haven't gotten there yet uh, that's going to be more of a better support opportunity for me so again if we do get back here right down to these uh 23s that's going to be a good opportunity for a bounce if we fail to get through that level if not down below 76 
89 is my next level of support and then all the way down below that 7612 to about 7599 as the next zone of support as well down below uh, for those who want to be short you got resistance a little bit of resistance coming in between this level 7827 as the area of resistance uh, strongly bullish though so you want to keep that in mind uh, may have a hard time trying to pull back down if we uh, continue this bullish run but again that's going to be your opportunity 7828 for maybe a nice double top to try to fade that back down against the actual trend but support again this is our support opportunity so keep an eye out for that may get that nice support for a continued bullish move uh, but we'll see what happens as we come into the london session but that wraps it up for s p 500 gold and also oil again if you guys do like these videos please go ahead and smash that like button if you are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe any questions you guys got feel free to pop them in here on youtube we'll love to get back to you guys but with that said guys if you guys continue to trade make sure you guys trade well you guys have a great night take care